What's up guys? Hope everybody's having a good day. Got another car mechanic simulator video here. In the junkyard just trying to find something to restore. Came across a couple good things but um, ended up taking I think it was the category Katsumoto or something like that. I'm probably saying it wrong but I don't know how you say it. Um, this one I thought was cool. It was a little electric car, even though I'm not a big fan of them. Still thought it was pretty cool. There wasn't a whole lot in this junkyard, considering how much I normally see in here, but that car I didn't want to mess with at all. I believe it was right around the corner here. Yep, there it is. So this is the car we're gonna be taking. It is the X-Tech, so it has a turbocharged motor in it. I only wanted 4,000 for it, which I was kind of surprised at how cheap the car was, but saves me money, right? <laughs> so, gonna end up doing this one. Um, probably going to do this like I did the car mechanic videos on the last one that we had on console. I believe it was the 2018 for PC players, but yeah. So I'm going to do it kind of like that. They're probably going to be two part videos on the restoration and stuff like that, but um, we'll see how everything goes, I guess, and uh, go from there. So Right now, just washing the car down, detailing it. Looks pretty bad with all the rust on it, but probably was sitting in the junkyard for a while. So, here she is. Removing body panels. Um, in this video, probably gonna just do the suspension. And that's probably about it. Next video, I'll probably do the motor, get the transmission in, get the rest of the drive line hooked up, and then get the motor built, get that in, get the body done on it, and do it that way. Because if I would have did it all in one video, it probably would have been like a 40-minute video. And I don't know if you guys really like videos that long or if you do then maybe in the future i'll change it up and do it that way but yeah so just getting everything unbolted taken off here nice trick i use i'm sure a lot of you probably use it is uh i add all the parts to my cart when i'm going through removing everything so that way there when I go into the shop and I go to buy everything I can just get it all in one go makes it a lot easier a little bit quicker on the last one I don't think you're able to do it like that or the um, shopping list system kind of was different or something I don't remember from that game it's been a long time but yeah These videos have been a little bit more difficult because I've been doing them on the Xbox. So, it's not quite as easy as the PlayStation where I can, like, talk through it as I'm going through doing the car. I have to uh, record the video and then go back and, like, watch the whole thing and talk through it. So, it's something I'm still getting used to, but... Trying to make it work so I can get videos out and whatnot. I think I might throw in a little farming simulator here soon. Um, been doing a little bit of work on Silver Run, the new map with the Platinum expansion for that. And I've been really enjoying it. So I might throw that up on the channel. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in or not. I know a lot of my... Videos have been mainly 
based around car games and stuff like that, but figured maybe a little variety wouldn't hurt. So, had a couple, few bolts actually that were rust welded in there that I had to spray to get out, but other than that, most of it came apart pretty quick. I was toying with the idea. I might keep the orange on this car. Not too sure yet. I still actually have one that I was going to keep and restore it and just keep it for myself. But I haven't really touched that yet, so I'll get to it at some point. This thing, I was thinking... It was, it's kind of cool, it has a turbocharged motor in it, but that isn't really something Honda did till, like, I don't know. They didn't do it, I don't know when they started putting turbocharged four-cylinders in the Honda Civics, but um, I think this, I'm pretty sure that's what this car is based off of is a Honda Civic, like a... 99 or 2000 somewhere around there looks like it has like volkswagen style headlights thrown on it maybe but for the most part i think it's pretty good looking sports car on here so i was thinking of maybe throwing a naturally aspirated four cylinder in it not 100 percent sure yet I'll probably touch on that more in the next video but i do know that this car is going to get like everything that i can do aftermarket so the brakes um exhaust everything in the engine the pistons all that's going to be aftermarket and then i'm probably going to throw a stage 3 ecu on it just to get as much power out of the car as i possibly can And these cars, I don't know if any of the others are set up different, but they take 16 of the rubber bushings, 8 for the front, 8 for the rear, and then anything with this suspension setup really will be the same. And then uh, the rear will take 8 of the small ones as well. So I don't know if that'll help you guys for future builds but hopefully it will I was thinking of maybe painting the whole suspension on this thing too I do that with some of the cars I build and sell but a lot of the cars I end up keeping I'll paint the whole suspension and do all that because you don't really get extra money if you paint the suspension it's just kind of like if you want to spend the extra money to make it look cooler then you can but you won't get paid more for it so it's really up to you how you want to do it but it's starting to come together at the front Suspension almost done. Can't get the tires on until I get the motor built and the transmission back in it, but then that way there I can hook up the front drive shaft and the CV axles. But for the most part, I can get everything in here. Then the rear, I don't have to worry about because I don't send any power to the rear so that I can get completely done. But yeah, I think uh, the last video I did was on how to ECU tune on here. Can be kind of tricky, but if you haven't seen that video and you're wondering how to get it maxed out, then uh, 
definitely check out that video. That'll help you get max tuning on your ECUs and be able to get everything out of your car for power wise. And stuff like that. But The suspension was definitely crusty. Man, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. It's crazy, like, <clears throat> I never actually realized how long it takes to get these cars done until I started doing YouTube videos on them. Like, I thought they would be a lot quicker than uh, the last game, just with the shock system and everything, because the last game, I think it took about, uh, I don't know, like 40 minutes to an hour to fully build a car. I don't know if you guys can get it done quicker than that or not, but definitely takes a little bit to build these cars on here or store them, whatever, but another thing I like to do is go to the auction house and get a car that's decent, like can still run, might need an oil change or whatever, throw some bolt-on aftermarket parts onto it and resell it. Throw some rims on there too, and new tires and whatnot. Maybe some aftermarket brakes, just some small stuff, and resell it. Because sometimes I just get bored of redoing every car that I end up picking up, but I still enjoy doing it. So, almost got all the suspension out of here. Once I do that, be back with you guys. All right, now that the suspension's out and everything's bought for it, and the exhaust is bought, should just be uh, pretty straightforward to the end here. Just throwing all the rear end stuff in there. I think I'm going in for a fuel pump now. Because I forgot to grab that when I was in here and bought the fuel tank and everything else so now that's in there then it's just the rear suspension and getting after that just getting the rims and tires picked out i don't remember why i backed out and looked at the menu there but yeah, now I'm going through trying to find some rims for it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to go with, 
but then um, the rim 21s kind of stuck out, so I went with those. Kept them the uh, stock size that was on the car. Only thing I did was adjusted the ET, made that more because for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you know by now, that just is kind of like the offset of the tire or like if you had a spacer behind it or something, uh, just kind of brings the tire out more. And here I'm going into repaint the rims, get them black. And then uh, I realized I had a lot of scrap parts in here. So I think I painted like a rim and then went out and got rid of everything, but went with black on them. Just wasn't sure if I wanted to go metallic, matte or solid black, went with the metallic pops a little bit and especially when it gets um, mounted on the car and you see it up against the orange it really looks good so that's why I was thinking of probably keeping the car orange might throw a spoiler on the back of it not sure yet once I get the body done in the next video we'll figure all that stuff out but I did keep looking at those calipers too because I was thinking of painting them. I don't know, I like to paint them red. Just because like I throw, if I throw performance brakes on it, I like to paint them to make it look like, <clears throat> excuse me, make it look like they're performance calipers even though you can't get performance calipers. I think that's something they should add in the future, though, like, have different colored calipers that are, um, like, do a certain percentage extra on braking or whatever, like red ones for Brembo's and blue for Wildwoods. Stuff like that. Yeah, now I'm just throwing the tires on. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. My dog is fiercely licking his paws right now. He's like going to town over there. He's chilling in here. <laughs> but yeah. Just getting the tires mounted up here. And then after that, back to finishing up the suspension. kind of hard watching these and like trying to talk all the way through it because like I could talk all the way through it when I'm like doing it on like the PlayStation or something making a video but like having to go back through and watch everything I don't know I just it ain't it isn't the same but trying to get used to it trying to make it all work and everything so hopefully you guys still enjoy the videos and stuff like that but I am getting ready for the Mercedes DLC. I don't know if you guys saw the video on that, but I did make a video on the Mercedes DLC because that is going to be coming this month sometime in January. They said they're not, they don't have a um, set date for it yet, but it is coming this month. It's on Steam right now. You can find it there, or if you go to Red Dot Games on Facebook, you can also find it there. That's where I get all my information when I make the videos, is both those places. And I did go back and paint the front calipers, too, because once I did the rear, I was thinking about doing the calipers at first but then i was like nah just leave it because i ain't keeping the car but 
then I decided, no, I'm going to throw red calipers on it. So I did go back and do the fronts. I think that was after I finished up the suspension in the rear. Then I made a little error here. Got a little happy on the A button. Wasn't realizing where the cursor was, so it brought me up to the front, but yeah. The suspension, I'm not a big fan of this style of rear suspension. I like it when it's leaf spring axles much more because it's just easier to get done, but I don't mind doing this suspension now with the new shopping system they have. It makes it much easier than what it used to be. When you had to like memorize all the parts and go in and buy them, now you can just click, uh, I think it's the view button or whatever. It's got the two little squares on it on the little button for Xbox and uh, just add it to your cart. And then you can go in and just do that. But here we are going to paint the front calipers and throw them on the car, and then that will wrap up this video so hopefully you guys enjoyed i will be dropping a part two either tomorrow or the day after not sure exactly when yet but it will be coming out tomorrow or the day after so hopefully you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe stick around for the next video and more information on when the mercedes dlc is going to be dropping for this game and I will catch you guys in the next video.